you guys so today is thursday your girl just made it to miami <laughs> you already know the vibes you already know what's going on you already know what's going on and i'm lit like i'm in a great freaking mood like your girl just ate some tacos but i tell y'all them tacos was busting them tacos was busting like definitely got to spin a block five leave like definitely but your girl just got done getting all fresh getting all clean you know what i'm saying i just did my makeup did my hair because your girl about to go to the what the booty club the what the booty club every time your girl pop out in miami i'm going to work like, I'm going to work. Like, I'm really not out here to be in these streets for real. Like, your girl's really out here to get to this money. Like, y'all know how this go. Like, stop playing. <laughs> y'all, so when I was doing my makeup, I finally got the chance to use the makeup hat with the Milk of Magnesia. Y'all, when I say my face is snatched, my face is snatched. Like, my face looks so good. My foundation is so smooth. Like, it's really giving what it's supposed to give. I'm so mad I've never tried this before. But, like, my homegirl, she was like, you need to use Milk of Magnesia. I was like, girl, the stuff that make you go to the bathroom like uh-uh uh -uh, i'm not putting that on my face <laughs> but she was like no i'm telling you like this is really it like and don't get me wrong like i've heard about the hack before i'm very in tune like with tiktok and you know what i'm saying like makeup tutorials and all that but i just it just never sat right with me the thought of putting milk of magnesia and knowing what it's for as far as putting it on my face i was very hesitant y'all but when i tell y'all my makeup is snatched when i tell y'all my makeup is so smooth i know y'all see it i know y'all see it <laughs> don't play with me like my makeup is literally snatched right now i'm about to go snatch somebody's daddy in the club up and get their money and then send them back home period uh, it's thursday night it's time to get to this bread time to get to this money your girl's in a good freaking mood and it's always a good time every time i pop up in miami like every single time y'all i hope the people is outside i am working day shift and night shift this whole time i'm out here y'all your girl's working like a dog because when i get back home i really want to take like a weekend off y'all like i know that sounds crazy like huh barbie what i really want to take a weekend off like your girl is tired okay let's talk about like tt getting old like i can't hang the way i used to <laughs> y'all like, I, I like let me say i'm really getting tired like so i told myself if i run it up this trip i'll take next weekend off and just do whatever i want to do like i don't care if it's stay in the bed all day but your girl is definitely gonna do whatever she want to do okay so we need to run it up tonight tonight friday and saturday i leave sunday y'all so i'm down here for three days miami turn me up don't turn me down period <laughs> but i'm also gonna try out a new club while i'm down here y'all it's this club called club 24 if you've ever worked at club 24 let me know in the comment section below and let me know y'all thoughts on it because i'm gonna try them out this go around that i'm down here y'all i'm also gonna go back to the club that i always be at when i'm down here that's like my home club when i'm in miami that's my club like i love that club i'm not nervous but y'all know that feeling we all get when y'all try out new clubs for the first time it be kind of like that mm, type of feeling like you like you know you're gonna get hired because you bad but it's still like it's still that that little nervous feeling i always get every single time i audition for a club yeah i don't know why i be getting nervous but sometimes i do like sometimes i really get nervous and i'll be like i'm nervous whole time i'm killing it like you feel what i'm saying so i'm gonna see y'all when i get to work <laughs> check it to the head one two three <clears throat> mm. you sound like you were struggling I'm not good at taking nothing to the head. <laughs> I got a little cone left, so yeah, I can do it now. We gotta get right before we go up in there. Feel me? Right. Feel me? Yeah, make this I feel good. That's money. That's money. That's money. That's money. That's money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, y'all? Back at it again with the white bins. <laughs> Just a little song. Just a little sink. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Where we slim, at? Slim thick in Miami on that. <laughs> don't play with it, don't play with it, yeah. don't play with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Period. You said that you was trapping, but I heard that's a lie. Back so the cold water, cut the stove on, straight the sides. So you all said with your baby daddy, no not to try. What's up you guys? So today's the next day, y'all. It is Friday, y'all. It is time to get to this month money <laughs> club is today the club was all right like it was kind of slow thursdays be slow anyway so it's not like i was just shocked or anything like that but it was kind of like like dang like where's the people like i feel like people didn't come up to probably like three pushing four o'clock like literally and i'm like come on now i did not come all the way out of the town for me to have a slow night you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day it ended up still being okay but i had gotten into this one altercation with this one female y'all 
it never fails it never fails so it was a couple sitting at a table and i had walked over there mind you it was a dancer over there already right which was cool i mean i don't really care about stuff like that as long as it's not no money on the floor then i mean that has nothing to do with me you know what i'm saying i'm talking to the couple we taking shots we getting lit so so i guess she felt left out in a sense so she was like oh can i get a shot you know what i'm saying you know how females feel left out they just want to be a part of something so bad so we just chopping it up oh so the dude told me to turn around like he was like turn around turn around so that was my cue to start dancing you tell me to turn around that mean you want to see this wagon i got dragged you feel what i'm saying so he started throwing me money right so she saw he was started throwing me money and so she started dancing but she was on the opposite side of the table like she was more towards the front and i was more towards the back so she started dancing but he was throwing money on me which was cool so his girl started throwing money on her so how the table table was made at the bottom it kind of like sectioned the money out so her money was in the front and my money was in the back towards the end of the night when we get done dancing she gonna come and tell me you really stepped on my bag but i'm gonna let it go like if i really stepped on your bag why would you tell me when money's already made like and how did i step on your bag i don't think females understand what that mean i really really don't think they understand what stepping on your bag means how can you step on somebody's bag with no money on the ground like how like to step on somebody's bag there has to be money on the ground like let's really talk about it. like if there's no money on the ground you can't step on somebody's bag. Like, make it make sense. Like, there was no money on the ground. How did I step on your bag? If I really stepped on your bag, I said, you would have most definitely told me when I first did it, not when money was already made. I said, let's be real. I didn't step on nothing. I said, so don't come in my face like you trying to check something. I said, because you ain't checking nothing. I stepped on your bag, but you waited till the money was made already. I guess you thought I was going to say, oh, say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, You could just have, you could just have it. No, absolutely not. Like I said, I don't work for nobody. So she felt some type of way because she started swiping my money up in her pile so i started swiping her money up in my pile like what like you know what i'm saying is this this gonna be even steven over here so she was like what you not about to do is take my money i said you what you not about to do is take mine baby you swipe mine so i'm gonna swipe yours it's just that simple like y'all need to stop acting so slow y'all need to stop acting like y'all don't know what's going on y'all need to stop acting like if you do something to a person a person ain't gonna do the same thing back to you come on like stop acting slow so freaking annoying it's so annoying like like y'all when i say i cannot wait till your girl is so financially set to where i really can get out of the strip club i mean that because it's annoying it's literally annoying at this point because it's always a problem you always got to go back and forth with a female with somebody if not a manager or female you know what i'm saying to over some money like making money should never be this difficult it should not but one thing about me i'm not about to let no female run me away i'm not about to let nobody run me away i'm not about to let nobody try to quote unquote bully me i'm the bully around this mother like I said, if I stepped on your bag, like you said I did, you would have said something in the beginning when I first came over there. You would not have waited till the end of the night to tell me, oh yeah, by the way, you stepped on my bag. Girl, get out my face. By the way, get out my face. How about that? Get out my face. Like, girl, females just do way too much for me. I honestly cannot even deal with them. But I'm about to show y'all what I had made last night, y'all. It was slow, okay? Oh, and this time, I got big bills, okay? Because I know a lot of y'all be telling me, girl, why you never do money counts when you go to Miami? Y'all that be a lot of ones and then it's not like my ones be together they be individual ones so i'll be like i'm not counting all that <laughs> i'm not counting all that but your girl do got big bills today okay one two three four five twenty forty sixty eighty six twenty forty sixty eighty seven this is a 50 60 70 one two so all together last night we made 772 y'all it's not bad for a thursday and like i said it was super freaking slow y'all when i say super slow it was so freaking slow like i literally wanted to cry and y'all i'm not even gonna lie to you y'all i'm kind of scared because my wig is sliding back like i don't know if y'all could tell but the wig is sliding like the wig is sliding back y'all and i just hope and pray this wig stay on like all freaking night y'all pray for me pray for my wig that, that she holds on for two more nights like two more nights baby please give me two more nights <laughs> your girl gonna walk out the club with two bands tonight like i need two bands okay can i get two bands bring your girl two bands period <laughs> but i'm about to head out y'all and i'm gonna see y'all when i get to the club <laughs> Today's the next day, and first and foremost, do not talk about my hair, okay? Your girl wig slid back, okay? 
<laughs> my wig came off y'all it was so embarrassing but good thing i was in the house when it slid back okay but i already knew it was coming off like you already know when your wig about to come off you feel what i'm saying the fact that you be just hoping to pray it lasts for a little bit longer than what it actually gonna do okay your girl i was literally in the club yesterday praying like lord let my wig stay on let my wig stay on like you know what i need lord let my wig stay on my wig actually stayed on all night yesterday but when i came back to that house baby the wig slid back right now you guys in some puerto rican food so let me just show y'all the plate this is a plate y'all i got some shrimp i don't and maduros y'all honestly if i had to rate this one out of ten i would give it like a six maybe a five because it's really not here and i don't know if it's because it's not hot or what but it's not supposed to taste like this like like i know what spanish food supposed to taste like and it's not supposed to taste like this and the shrimp baby y'all could put some more seasoning on this the shrimp tastes like they put no season on it literally just very disappointed and then on top of that y'all i had spent 20 dollars on this plate <laughs> like like you can't be freaking serious right now but your girl is at the nail salon y'all i'm about to eat my food and then i'm about to go up in there and get my nails done i probably won't get my nails done i probably just get my feet done because my feet hurting so bad y'all yesterday i had worked a 12 hour shift i got to work at five o'clock and i didn't leave till five o'clock that's 12 hours right or is it 10 i think it's 12 y'all when i tell y'all my feet hurt so freaking bad it hurt so freaking bad y'all i'm gonna need ling ling to get down there and pull out her best tricks baby because these feet look atrocious these feet <laughs> good morning you guys so today's the next day y'all and your girl is back at home I am so freaking excited, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all, don't get me wrong, like, I love Miami. Miami's a vibe. Every time I go to Miami, literally a vibe every single time, y'all. But y'all know that feeling when you, like, travel too much? Like, it just kind of gets annoying at a certain point, and it's kind of like, I just want to be at home. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so happy I am back at home, y'all. When I say feet killing me, body killing me, TT Todd, like, I am really getting too old for these. <laughs> i'm really getting too old for this now let me stop playing y'all i'm not old at all i'm just 26 years old but but eventually being on your feet all day dancing all day and night that eventually catches up with you so my body is definitely screaming right now but let me tell y'all about my trip let me tell y'all about the club let me tell y'all about the new club that i tried out and i gotta show y'all my money count from last night so the new club that i had tried out was called g5 right my personal thoughts on the club is i don't like it like i really do not like the club i feel like the club was I don't know, like the vibe up in there and the energy was very low for me. I don't know if I caught them on a bad night or what. Don't get me wrong. I know you can't base a club off of one night because it's one night. But that night really just made me not even want to go back. I felt like for one, like the vibe and the energy was too low. It was definitely too low for me. The people in there, they was not as lit as I'm used to people normally being. I don't know if the crowd was an older crowd. Like I really can't put my finger on what actually was the problem. But that could have been a problem. It could have been the crowd was an older crowd too because the energy was low it was not giving like what i'm used to like when i work i'm used to people like in the section standing on the chairs like bouncing up and down like lit you feel what i'm saying but up in there like it was none of that like everybody was just like boring like boring and i'm just like dang you feel what i'm saying like where's the energy like i base my energy off of their energy and vice versa don't get me wrong like i'm an entertainer so my job is to entertain you and turn you up i understand that but if your energy is low and it stays low after a while, mine's is going to drop down. You feel what I'm saying? So it was just not giving to me. The customers there, the dudes, they they was too sassy for me. Way too sassy for me. Like this one dude I had walked up to, I'm like, hey, how you doing? The first thing he going to tell me is, what do you want? I'm like, what do you mean what I want? He going to say, I know you want something. Y'all all want something. I'm like, bro, you're in a strip club. You know what I want. But besides me saying I want some money, I'm trying to be nice. Okay, because I know if I say it like that, I know you're not going to give it to me. I was like, in the beginning, I was just like, I don't want anything. I just came over here to have a friendly conversation with you. But obviously, you're taking it the wrong way. And so then my homegirl ended up walking up to me and she was talking to me. So as she's talking to me, a song came on. He started feeling himself. And then he had grabbed my arm like this. So I turned around to look at him and he started like, you know how you singing a song and you feeling yourself, you doing all this? He was doing that. So I'm like, all right, maybe he do want me to be over here. So after my friend walked away... 
I started back talking to him. Like, when I tell you he had a bad attitude, he had a bad attitude. Bro, you're too serious for me. Like, I'm about to walk away. And I walked away because I don't got time for that. Like, you too serious for me? We're in a strip club, bro. You're giving funeral home vibes. Like, please get out my face. Like, he had another section with these girls. They was cool, too. But my thing is, is it was a girl that was in a section with us, y'all. And I hate a lazy dancer. Hate a lazy dancer. Girls with BBLs. And don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing nobody with BBLs, okay? This is just my opinion. These... And let me not even say these. Some of these girls with BBLs, they're lazy, okay? They're lazy. They be so lazy, they feel like they don't have to do anything, literally anything. So it's this one girl in the section, and when I tell you she didn't feel like she had to do anything, I'm like, yo, you got to do something. You have to do something or you can get off this bag disrespectfully. Like, I'm not working for you. Absolutely not. I'm like, baby, you got to do something. Like, what is you doing? At a point, she had put her leg up on a chair while her leg was on the ground, and she started making one of her booty cheeks jump. But when I tell you she was making a jump so slow, I'm like, girl, you're supposed to dance to the beat of the music. What is you doing? I just feel like she made the girls not want to spend no more money because it was in the beginning, they kept on going to the bar and getting more ones. But her energy was so low. Like, she was so lazy. Like, I was just like, girl, just get out the way. Like, I, at this point, I'll just hand you $100 and let us have the rest because you ain't do nothing. Like, but later on that night, we ended up getting in a section, right? And this is what really blew me, right? This is what really made me say, I'm not coming back to this club. Don't get me wrong. It was a lot of things, but this just topped it off. So the dude, I guess he was feeling himself because he was acting like a female. He was feeling himself. So he ended up telling security to kick us all out the section. But it's not what you do. It's how you do it. He going to tell the security, like, get these birds out of my section. So he was like looking at us like we was below him or something. So when we ended up walking out the section, I was blown because it's how he went about it. You feel what I'm saying? If you wanted to choose your girls, that was cool. All you could have been like was... You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody in section right now. But it's how you went about it. You looked at us like we was below you. Baby, I'm not below you. I'm definitely above you. And nine times out of ten, I got more money than you. So for the fact that you try to play me like an option, I'm not I'm not a pick me type of female. I'm definitely the chosen one. Okay. I didn't really like that. Not even gonna lie to you, I didn't. And then when we got out of the section, he held he was holding his money up to his face like this, showing off his teeth like this, like, yeah, I'm really hemp. Like, you're acting like a female. Okay, let's talk about it. You're acting like a female, like you're not him at all. I have more money than you. And for the fact that you sit over here trying to act like you're really him and you're not, like I'm definitely walking away. I walked away. I said, y'all can have that section. I'm not about to sit over here and wait to be chosen by a dude. I got more money than. It's just not happening. It just was not sitting right with me, y'all. So I ended up walking away. I went to the house, mom. I tipped them their little $20. And then I said, give me my money because I'm about to go. Y'all, when I tell you all I made that night was $360, that's all I made was $360. And that was on a Saturday night. When I tell you I've never left the club on a Saturday night with $360, I literally mean that. Like, when I tell y'all, it was so freaking trash. Like, it was literally just that. It was literally trash. And I'm never going back there ever again. Like, that was just my personal experience. Like I said, I know you can't base one night off of a hot club. It's really rain, y'all. But I hate that club. I honestly do. Like, it's just not for me. My Miami trip was fire. Like, it always is. You feel what I'm saying? Every time I go to Miami, I turn up. I have a good time every single time, y'all. But let me show y'all my other money count, though. Hold on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, this is the money count from Friday night. So, let me just show y'all what I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 20 40 60 80 12 so your girl made 1200 on friday night y'all and like i told y'all saturday night was 360 which was trash so it ain't even nothing to show y'all because i was just blown about it and this is literally why i stick to what i know because every time i try something other than what i know it's always a fail like every single time don't get me wrong like i want to be able to have different options when i pop out to miami to work at but i'm very particular in things i'm very particular in my energy i'm very particular in my surroundings i'm very particular in everything y'all very picky very very picky like i said i don't know if it was a crowd that made me not really like the club or the dudes or the customers because they were sassy i don't know what it was but that club literally was not for me i should have stuck to my first mind when i thought of I, originally i said i was gonna try this other club but i ended up going to that club and that's why i messed up at changing my mind but honestly i only went to the club because my homegirl wanted me to go because if it wasn't for her i wouldn't even went because every time I hear a girl talk about that club, they all say bad things about the club. Like, literally. That's just me, though, y'all. I cannot stand that club. And that's why I just stick to what I know, okay? Because every time I try something new, it always show me why you should stick to what you know.
period. <laughs> But y'all do not come for me in the comments talking about my hair, talking about me because I know I look a mess, okay? Your girl took the wig off. The wig had to come off, okay? The wig had to come off, all right? So we got our bonnet on, we got our sleep clothes on, and it's just lit. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next one. <laughs>